so yeah one is i'm just going to recap that one one is if if you have recruited someone in the business make sure that that person has been able to has been able to you know to get the new dis dis distributor orientation the one that i did or do the new the new distributor orientation for them at least within 48 hours we have we have all made mistakes we have let people you know stay in the business for way too long before doing this so i need us to do that and the second thing after the new new distributor orientation for your new person is very important this is a way of retention retention and this is from the global forever headquarters they're saying People that have been able to be re retained in the business are the people that have done the second order within a month. So I need us to do write a list of people that have joined your business. So sit down today and write a list of people that have joined your business. Okay, so if you put one person, two people, three people, 10 people, 20 people, take your time and write everyone. Okay, if you have your FLP 360, then you can check your first generation people. You know, you can go on your uh, on your on your uh, top performers, for example. You can get that list. You understand? And so write that list and get to know who is your, in your business so that you can be able to know who are also the new people in the business and then see what is their progress. Check on them. Hi, how are you? You know, have they have they watched the new dis dis distributor orientation? Are they attending the trainings and all those kind of things? And then ask them, when are they doing the second order? Because I know like today, I've got about two or three people that I had to follow up yesterday and they're doing their second orders today. But then we can give ourselves a week, like say today is today is Wednesday. Up until end of the week, we have got a lot of people that have done their personal order, even if it's a 1,000 order, like a minimum order, but they have to do their second order. So let's say someone has joined the business and they have not, you know, they have not been able to, you know, to sell all of their combo pack, for example. They bought the combo pack. They have not been able to sell all of the combo pack. Now, the mistake that most people do is that they tend to eat the money because the money is not coming it all together. And then they get, you know, a certain challenge. They need to buy this and that. They go and take the money from their sales of the combo. You know, by the time they're finishing to sell their combo, they don't have any, even the money left. You know, that money that they invested in the business, it's not there anymore. While, you know, if you want to treat this forever business as a business, it is very important to make sure that your money that you have invested in the business is actually there. You know, because I'm sure you've never seen anybody opening up a shop and then after opening up a shop, you know, um, they, they eat all the, the investment and then now the shop is empty. Now they need to start another to look for another investment to fill in the shop. It doesn't happen like that. So we need to learn how to treat our forever business as a business, meaning your investment money has to always be there. You know, and remember, one thing that I always tell people is that the combo money does not give you any profit, meaning you buy your combo at 6825 In Tanzania, you buy your combo at um, 1100000 for example. But then you're only getting a 5% discount. So if you will eat that money, and remember, you also need to use some of the products. So the small profit that you're going to get, the 5%, that will go into you using your own products. You know, so literally your first sell on the combo only gives you back your money. Okay, so there's no profit there. So if you want to start making profit, that is why it's important that they do the second order. Because the second order is where they're getting a 30% discount, which is giving them a which is giving them uh, a 43% retail profit. You understand? So it's very, very, very important. That's super important. So their second order and their third order. So even if the second order is 1,000, this 1,000 is giving them a 430. You know, if someone is putting in 100,000 Tanzanian shillings on the second order as a brand new assistant supervisor, as a full member, it means this 100,000 is giving them 43,000. So now this 43,000, this 430 runs as profit is what now you can be able to use and spend. Now, if you're here in this meeting, let me see. Guys, do you still have good? Even if it's, I'm not talking about just you and your new people, you as yourself, do you still have your money you know, invested in the business in terms of the products. Do you still have it? If you don't have it, then I highly recommend that you look for at least one CC. Guys, one CC this week and don't even do it end of the month. Look for it this week. Do your one CC now and then move and, you know, move those products, recommend those products by end of next, by end of next week or the end of the last week of the month, you have got another one CC where you are doing now the second CC for your business and then don't spend your money that you have invested in the business guys at any time t you need to have money running 
for your business. And congratulations to, well, to Grace. I know you're doing that a lot. Lavinia, also, you have always been doing your 2CC every single month. And, you know, from since you joined the business. Justina, you have also in, reinvested back 1CC of your money. Mona Lisa, also have been reinvesting back in, uh, in your business. That's good. Natasha, you've also been doing that. Nompumelelo, I see your orders uh, most of the time. Noxolo, congratulations on that. Oh, Telencia, congratulations on that. Um, the rest of you, I'm not so sure. And so I need I need to make sure that uh, Isabel also you do one CC here and there, which is good. But I'm highly recommending that you do invest at least one CC beginning of the week. Now, people are sometimes struggling with four CC, for example, end of the month. And it's because they're waiting to end of the month for them to do a whole four CC. Guys, business doesn't go like that. At the end of the day, you'll come and feel like, you know what, this business takes, it, takes my money away from me, but it doesn't. So the strategy that most people use is that the beginning of the month, like now we are not the beginning per se today was on, on the 12th, but I would still say it's, you know, CCs are now rolling in for most people. People are buying the products more as our customers and people are also now preparing themselves to join our business. But then, you know, I'll still, I will still say, you know, we'll still, you know, we are closing the second week of the month. So what people do is that the beginning of the week, they do the beginning of the month, they do their one CC, they get their products the product the second week they do the same the third week they do the same you know end of the month you are remaining with very few cc's to get your four cc but then if you don't do nothing zero up until the end of the month and you're saying i want to do four cc by recruiting so let's say people are saying you know i'll just do my one cc because how you do your four cc is that you can either recruit people but even if you recruit two people, so let's say you have recruited two people um, that are combo people, that will be four CC. But with forever, for you to say you are active in your system, um, forever says you must do your one CC. Okay, one CC for Namibia and South Africa is worth about 3,600, okay? That's an order of 3,600. And the reason why we should always do our one CC, for Tanzania, I think close to 600,000, okay? So the reason why Forever needs us to do one CC is because it assumes that you as a distributor, you're using your own product. So if you don't do your one CC, it means where are you taking the products? How are you using the products for you and your family? And then the one CC also means you are supplying the products to your, 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 your regular customers customers that when someone buys a, thin, a, 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 a tooth gel from you, after a month, that person, that one tooth gel is already gone. So you need to go back to your customer and make sure that you're following up and get them, get to sell them another tooth gel and add more products from to them, of course. And um, that's why we say you're looking for 20 to 30 regular customers. So the more the customers you have, it means the more you can be able to retail more products. Okay. But we assume at least a minimum of one CC for your own personal use. For you and your family, guys, we can't just be selling products to people while our own health are not being taken care of. You understand? You can't be selling tooth gel to people, which is the best tooth gel in the world, and then you're still using whatever tooth gel that are not good for you and your family. You understand? So you need to use the products. That's why you need to do your 1CC. So even if you recruit two people, that is 4CC, but you will still need to do your 1CC for you to say you are active. You understand? Or you can do your 4CC by doing the retailing all the way, meaning you do 4CC by buying the products, buy and sell, buy and sell under your own name. Remember, 1CC is 3,600 runs. Okay, so if you do four times, it means you're looking at um, buying and selling products worth 14,400. Okay, 14,400. Now, if you say you're going to wait until end of the month for you to buy 14,400 every month and then go and sell, that becomes a challenge. You understand? Because remember that money is coming, not all of it at once. It comes bit by bit as you sell. You understand? So you're going to find the business very challenging. And with you not doing your four CC, it means one, you are not building a culture. It means if you have got people in your team and they don't see you being recognized as a four CC qualifier, five CC qualifier, it means your team are never going to do four CC. Now, remember when we say um, you are a supervisor and to become a supervisor, you need to have a team of three people. Guys, we don't just say a team of three people. We mean a team of three people, including yourself that are doing four CC. Meaning, because moving levels requires two months. So for example, you want to go to supervisor. Supervisor is two months um, leveling up. So either you do seven CC and then you do 18 CC next month, or you do 10 CC this month and then next month you do 15 CCs. Anytime that your CC is accumulating to 25 CC, you are a supervisor, okay? And then now after moving to supervisor, now you want to go to assistant manager. Every time your CCs are summing up in two months, 
to 75. So let's say last month you did 15, this month you do 60. Okay, you're already an assistant manager. As long as they sum up to 75. Maybe you have done 25 and then next month you do 50. The other This month you do 30, next month you do 45. Anytime they sum up to 75, you are an assistant manager. You understand? Now, manager is two options. There's an option of 120 CC, which is 60, 60, 40, 80, um, 50, 70. Anyhow, two months, 120. Or four months of 150 total. So for example, you can do 35, 37.5, 37.5, 37.5, 37.5 for four months, you are a manager, okay? Four months, 150, but manager now, manager. You cannot become a manager in those either two months or four months if you're not a 4 CC qualifier, you know? So if you're gonna do four, C four months manager, it means every month of these four months, you have to be 4 CC qualifier. One CC under your name, recruit the rest. Or 4 CC under your own name every month, you know? 4 CC, it has to be including all the CC that are coming from your whole team. That's when you're becoming a, you're becoming a manager. Now, the reason why I usually tell people, do your 4 CC is because you don't know. There's a lady joined the business and um, within 26 days, she did 25 CCs. Now imagine this lady is becoming a manager. Now imagine if she had a sponsor, okay, that recruited her and then the sponsor did not become, um, did not do 4 CC on the first month when this lady joined the business. It means automatically when the downline is becoming a manager, this upline is becoming, or this sponsor is becoming unrecognized manager, meaning you can if you miss your fourth CC and then you recruit someone very powerful in your team, this person goes to manager and you did not do your fourth CC on the first month, even if they're going to use four months, on the first month, you did not do your fourth CC, even if you're not going to become a manager because you missed your fourth CC on the first month. So guys, for me, fourth CC is crucial because one, you are in danger of being unrecognized just in case you regret you don't know you know you don't know you don't know maybe you can have someone directing your team and that someone is not very 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 you know doing as much but then that someone bring one person in your business and that one person becomes you don't know who is going to come in your team at what generation of your business that is going to turn around your business guys so at any time t i will tell you today make sure you are starting from the beginning of the month and say you know what I am committing into doing my 4CC. You understand? So that's what I'm saying. Write a list of everyone who has joined your business. Make sure that everyone in your team has watched all you have done and you did orientation for them. They know that they need to write a list. They know what 4CC is. They know what CC is. They know how to level up. You understand? They know how to also get the information. You know, you have added them in the group. They're attending at the training and you are following up on them to attend the trainings as well. You know, because the more they, train, they attend the trainings at the beginning of their journey with forever, the more they get equipped and then the more get, they get to know how they can also even get to connect with other people in the business. You understand? That will help them grow in the business. You understand? And then make sure that your team are also doing the second order. But then... If you're in this meeting and you're going to write a list of names of people that are in your business as of now today, even if this person has joined the business this month, they can still do their 4CC. You know, so you need to do your 4CC and make sure that your team, because most of the time, sometimes I find people join the business and then they leave their 4CC with 3.5. I mean, how do you leave your 4CC with 3.5? You understand? It doesn't, it doesn't really make sense. You know, how do you leave your four CC with two CC? Like you've done a whole two CC. And sometimes, most of the time that people leave their four CCs because they assume that, okay, I'm going to do my two CC and then I'm going to recruit one person. Guys, recruitment, someone joining your team is their own decision. And then one thing that you should not do is to wait for someone that is telling you they're joining. Someone can tell you they're joining, but they can come join next month. They can be very, very positive. I'm going to join. And then things happen. And then you miss your manager. You become a recognized manager because a previous month, someone said that they're going to join your business. They did not join the business. And then next month, someone powerful join your business. And then you are missing manager because of this one person that let you down. Guys, you cannot let someone else let you down on your own goals. You understand? So when someone says yes, just put them on the side on what you call a pipeline list of people that want to join, but keep on talking to more people. Don't wait for one person that is saying they're joining your business. There's someone here that has been waiting for someone to join their business the past three months. 
and they're not talking to more people or they're talking to people slowly. And every time you're asking them, like, how is it? No, you remember that lady? You remember that guy? You remember? I mean, guys, don't do that to yourself. You know, because the more you don't talk to people, the more you don't feed into your into your list of people that you've already spoken to. Guys, you're going to get stuck in the business. You understand? So this is what I need you to do. Make sure that your new distributor are doing their second order, but making sure that you're going for your force, you see? And your new people also, not only that they do the second order, but get to have a list of people that you think they can make sure that they're doing their force, you see? And force, you see, is just a bare minimum. You understand, bare minimum, okay? So it's very important that you write and have to know, you know, get to know what your volume map is. Volume map is where now you're getting to determine where are my CCs coming from? What is my goal this month? Okay, like for example, I'm gonna give an example. I know um Chris um Justina. I love talking about her because we talk with her a lot. You know, um, she started the business. This is June, right? She started the business in April, and this month she has got a team of about I don't know how many people right now she has, but um, we are looking at her team, and I know that she can be able to do 30 CC this month. That's the goal, you know. So yesterday I spoke to her lady, a lady that joined the business in May. And when I spoke to her, she told me she already has people that are joining and she has already done her order and second order, I think today, right? She's called Mercy. I think she's done her second order today. And the goal is to make sure that Mercy closes with at least 10 CC. So when you are writing your goals, also think who in your team that you are working with right now, because now you can have a team of five people, but maybe not all the five people are very, you know, very geared up to level up as soon because sometimes people take time you know some people get in the business they do it fast and then they slow down some people get in the business they take time and then they come and and then they come and you know do it as much some people they just do a lot and then sometimes they don't get as much results you know so you're looking at okay this is my team that's what i'm saying write a list of everybody in your team and then get to determine who are your focus that month you know if someone is really putting in the effort maybe they're not getting much results but they're putting in the effort you want that person you're not just looking for people that are looking, bringing the CCs. No, you want that person in the business. You know, you want to give, you know, give give your focus to them because sometimes for people to get it, that they just need to get a, a, you know, a bit of help from someone that is more experienced. So that person can be you, but you can always, all of you, involve me in all of your activities. You understand? Remember, I'm your direct manager. You understand? So volume map. What is your goal? My goal this month is I want to do 20 CC. Now that is the goal. Now, volume map is how am I getting the 20 CC? What CCs are coming from my direct recruitment? Okay, how many people am I recruiting this month? That's volume map, okay? And then how many CCs are coming from me buying and selling, me buying and selling, you know? That is my personal orders under my own name. You understand? Volume up, map also goes beyond and say, you know, I've got this team. That's what I'm saying, right? Everyone in your team. And then get to know where are these CCs, who is going to do what? Okay, so this is Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa has got, let's say, um, let me see who is in your team that is here. Oh, Mahuleli, right? Mahuleli, right? Mahuleli has been in the business. Mahuleli is getting involved. You know, I know on Friday she's gonna go out and you know, um, and and go do some retailing. We did a coffee meeting with her. You know, she's gonna invite on Friday. So the goal for for Mahuleli, I don't know what your goal Mahuleli is. Okay, so I'm assuming that you know I'm Mona Lisa right now. Then I'm like, you know what? I think Mona, uh, Mahuleli can be able to to create a base for supervisor. But that becomes Mona Lisa's goal. But I, Mona Lisa has to go to Mahuleli and ask Mahuleli, what is your goal? So everybody here has to know what their goal is. And then now, if Mahuleli is thinking too low, Mona Lisa is supposed to say, you know what, Mahuleli? I think you have got the ability to do this and that. You give them the direction. When I'm talking about, say, Justina with 12, 30 CCs, Justina is new in the business. Justina does not understand how the business works. But then if I'm looking at a team, because I've spoken to some of our team members, and I'm looking at a team, I'm like, you yourself as Justina, you can be able to do 10 CC. We have got Mess that is able to do 10 CC. And then we have got now um, in, in, in Justina's team, for example, we have got... Um, let me see. We have got, let me see who is here. Um, I, I see I, I see only two people that are in your team. Um, oh, we have got Natalia, okay? So let's say that there's Natalia again. That's already three people. That's what I'm saying. Justina can be able to do that. You get my point? So I need to also be able to, as a leader, 
as a, a response, I need to be able to direct my team and getting to know what they what what they can do. You get my point, Natasha. I know what your ability is. You know, I know what you are working on, and I know you can do it. Assistant manager is the goal. You can definitely do it. You know, you have a team and all that. If it's not happening this month, then at least there's a certain number that becomes a bare minimum. That's the volume map. So you volume map yourself what you you want as a person. Okay you yourself in your business and then now you volume up for your team and get to determine what CCs are coming from your team okay and then after that you go to your team and get to know what they have planned for themselves okay and then now you do the tallying there you do the comparison there and then you see how you can come you can come in in the middle or how you can be able to get them to level up more than what they think because you know your team you understand that's volume up guys so i need i need us to do it and i need us to be able to send that to me i know it's a bit late to do that i was supposed to do this meeting beginning of the month but I've been traveling. I was in here and there. I went to where? Where was I? Well, I went to Namibia, then came back. Went to Tanzania, then came back. You know, and then we went to camping and all that. So I couldn't. I did not have time at all to just settle. And that is why I saw. I thought we can't do the meeting in the evening because I don't have any evening free between now and the weekend. So I thought let's just do it together. So thank you for joining in. So guys. I need us to do the volume up. If you have already done the volume up because you knew the volume up before, please share that volume up for me to me today. And then we can be able to come up with that and get to see what we can do together. So guys, volume up, very key, very key. If you're new in the business and don't know how to do it, please, you can come to my inbox at any time, T. And also you can go to your sponsor at any time, T. Now, strategies for growth. Um, For me, um, we, we, we could have done that, but... I see we don't have much time, but um, when we were at the camp, I, I I brought up an idea which I thought is a very good one, and so um, we I, I saw um, yesterday Susan has has, has called, called me to be able to implement that. But one thing that we have always been doing is we have been doing group meetings, okay? So um, group meetings. So I'm gonna ask each and everybody. We are 26 of us here, guys. Um, I need I need, you know like we have got. We have got Zoom meetings most of the time, okay? But Zoom meetings are amazing because we have been building business with Zoom meetings. And sometimes the person has to have attend a Zoom meeting over and over and over again for them to make a decision. Of course, sometimes they attend the Zoom meeting. I know there's a, there's a Zoom meeting I did with the UK team and it was the UK and Canada team. And then the next 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 day, actually the same night, that lady joined the business, okay? So results are different, but... One thing that I've experienced is that the physical meetings are always very powerful. So I need us to do this. And that is what um, I've been doing with many people that we have been building the business when we are far apart. You can organize a group meeting. Okay. For example, we have a meeting on, on, on Friday afternoon. That's a, that's a Zoom. Okay. What you can do on meetings like those, on time like that, where you can be able to meet people, you can create you can you can you you can you can you can you can invite people and meet with them in person somewhere they can sit down have a cup of coffee and then they listen with you on your device with you right there and then you understand very important because um if you have got a group of four five people and you're sitting down with them they're listening the zoom where either me i'm doing it or there's another leader doing it or even you doing it for them Always is very powerful because you know they're there with you. They can ask you questions. You know, they're there physically. Sometimes someone can log in a Zoom and then they, they don't do, you know, they just log in and then you see them and then they forget their device. They keep on doing what they need to do. Or someone is, has logged in in their laptop or in their second phone and the other phone, they are on, on Instagram listening, but they're on Instagram or they're on Facebook, but they're not on TikTok, but they are there. You understand? So for me, I will highly recommend that we organize the group meetings meet people two people three people and then if you don't know how to present what you can do is you can ask either me or you can ask your sponsor direct sponsor and tell them you know what i want to organize a group of women i've got a group of you know i've got a group in charge you know i've got a group at work can you please 
Yes, you need to start doing group meetings, non Pumelelo, Dophilia. Yes. Can you please do this meeting for me? You understand? If you ask me and I'm not, maybe I'm not in a different country, let's say you're in Namibia, let's say you are, you know, in Tanzania, let's say you're in South Africa, but I cannot be able to be there with you. What I can do is I can join in with Zoom. On Friday, we have got a big meeting going on with the team in a whole room, okay? And what I will do is I close, I will close that meeting. And I will do that on Zoom. So they will display the 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 the, the, the um the Zoom, and then everybody will say they'll be speaking to them as if I'm there. You know, um, even I've got an invitation to speak to a team in um where is this guys? It's in Europe though. Um, is is it in Europe? I'm not sure. What is this country, guys? Oh, no, actually, it should be I don't know, but okay. I, this lady is top distributor in Africa because I think her country is still in Africa, but she now lives in, in Europe. So she asked me to train her team. And what she will do is she's going to gather her team. Guys in Europe, you know, I'm going to be speaking to white people, right? And she will pro she will project, you know, and I will join them and train her team on Zoom. So guys, I know this works. It has been working. I've been using it. I've been doing it. So I need you to start doing it. So organize your coffee meetings, organize your group meetings, organize your boardroom meetings. You know, I was talking about that idea with Susan and Susan has got in a boardroom where she lives and we will be able to do that. You know, so that is going to be a physical because I will go. Okay. Um, that will be in four ways. Nompomelelo, if you can be able to come on Friday, on, on Sunday, please do come in. I will, I will let you know of the, of the venue. Come in and it's going to be a health talk. But then look, if you are wherever you are, can we get, if you're in, in, in Windhoek, for example, we have got a boardroom in Kubata. You know, we have got a boardroom in um village, the village restaurant that we wanted to do this last weekend. You know, can we do that? Can we get these small, small meetings and get to do this? So that is one thing that I will highly recommend that we do. But on top of that, I need us to do um product launches, guys. If you're in this meeting right now and you've never done a product launch, I can be able to do a product launch for you, regardless of where you are. And um and, 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 and um, yeah, so regardless of where you are, even if you're far, you can organize. We have done that before. You know, people try the products and I'm, I'm, I'm doing the same thing. I'm online. I'm on Zoom. You have connected, you know, the, your device, whatever, and you can and, and we do it. But if you are if you are maybe two or three in your town, you can also organize yourselves and be able to do the product launch together. You get a venue in common, a common venue, everybody, your guest and your other person's guest that in, is in your town. You do it together, collaboration. So as much as we collaborate with other people in, the, in other teams, you can also collaborate within ourselves. I hope that we have been able to we have been able to um to 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 get that okay so now what i need you to do is i need you to get a date for your for your first or for your next group meeting okay um i'm after this i'm going to screenshot everybody that is in this meeting and i need us to write that list you know um write uh, and, and 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 share with us when you want to do your next group meeting guys very important okay very important so um let me see here. Yeah. So Zinanze, Wakaumbo, Toini, Sebetha, Telencia, Rosalia, Noxolo, um, Nokubonga, um, Dapanda, Michelle, Natalia, Mona Lisa, Marvel. Guys, um, Mauleli, Lydia, you know, when are you doing your next group meeting? When are you doing your group meeting? Very important, guys. We need to know. So please share with us when you're doing your next meeting next group meeting and guys and also remember it shouldn't be something that you're stressing about like hey i don't know how to do it you know um how how and all that like it's it's a very simple very very simple thing okay so and sometimes when people are organizing events like this they're thinking like okay let me go and ask my people when are they having time no it's not about your people having time it's about you and your time Okay. And then like you see this meeting, I'm sorry, but you know, I had to look at my own time and get to see who is available on this time. You understand? Because I knew if I wait until I get time in the evening, I will not do this meeting. You understand? But now you see we are 26 of us, but because I had to make a decision. So even on you and your one-to-ones, even on you, you and your own group meetings, don't, you're not going to go to a prospect and ask them, when are you having time? No, you're supposed to plan a time. You're supposed to plan a venue and then create a poster and then or even create a message and then invite people. And then whoever that is available on that meeting, that is when they can be able to join you. You understand? So that's how we do it. So organize when is your next meeting 
group meeting. Maybe it's at work. Maybe it's at home. Maybe it's, you know, at a restaurant close to you. Maybe it's at the bed boardroom that you can be able to hire, you know, whatever. And then let's do that meeting. Okay. Now, one more thing that I need, I need to address is that I need us to have our productivity manual. Okay. Um, Justina, I did leave four productivity manuals to Mariana for you and your new team. I hope you have taken them. You have gotten them from her. Okay. Um, uh, if, if you're here and you don't have a productivity manual, please come to my inbox and tell me. In fact, let me see. Productivity manual is the system that I created for the team that is going to help you um, get to know what you need to do every single day so it is a list of activities where you are actually where you are actually um you are you are filling in what you have done for that day you understand so people that have spoken to people that have shared their video with and sharing the information with your customer that customer that you have been con 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 contacted that day the number the new number that you have you have collected that day you know calls that you have you have made if you have a team somewhere that you're writing people that you have communicated with on that day so literally it is giving you the direction of what you're supposed to do every like it's a to-do list you understand so it is very important that we have that productivity manual okay that productivity manual so um why i need us to have that productivity manual is because i'm going to start again the 14 days Boot camp, boot camp. I did start it with a few people and um, we were about 40 and I'm sure the people that were there, they, they actually saw the effectiveness of that. Now, it's of course, if you were there in that, meet, in that boot camp, I hope you kept on doing it because of course, you know, you need to keep on doing what you need to do because what brings the results is the consistency of doing it. But also I got distracted there because I traveled to Namibia and I was moving around, you know, the last, last few days of the 14 days, I couldn't do it. But then if you are in that group, I'm going to come to the group today and then I need you to become a leader of the next bootcamp that you're going to start. So we're going to start a 14 days bootcamp, very serious, like every single day on that 14 days, everybody has to fill in the productivity manual. Everybody has to post in that group that you belong of the productivity manual. And we will see, I'm sure we're going to get the level up. Guys, we're going to level up. We're going to we're gonna get massive people, more people join the business. We're going to have more people retail the products. We're going to have more people, you know, getting to develop to become leaders because they're touching their business every day. Guys, the only way you'll become a leader is if you are building your business and showing up every single day. And you will have to show up as a leader, not as a downline, guys, okay? And then I'm going to insist also on the importance of attending trainings very important importance of attending trainings but when you're attending trainings there's something that i shared i think in namibia or i don't know i don't remember where but i said if you have been in the business for a month okay and especially if you've got a team of even one person when you are attending a training i need you to attend a training not as a downline i keep saying that not as a downline i need you to attend a training and listen as someone that is going to deliver to your team as someone that is going to build a massive team, I need you to see yourself growing in this business, guys. You know, I mean, you've been in the business for two months, three months, four months. You cannot keep on, you know, keep toying. You cannot keep on assuming you are a downline. You have to start taking charge of your business, okay? If you also need to start training, even if it's one person or two people, get you one person, sit down with them, ask them, you know, what are, you, what are your goals? Initiate activities with them. This is what we need to do. Like give them the direction. Even if it's one person, guys, you need to attend trainings as a leader. Now, very important, make sure your team is getting involved. So if you have got a business presentation, make sure your team is, is joining. Even if they don't have someone that be invited. And as you, especially the business presentation, you know, most of the time we at least, we, we don't even sometimes attend business presentation because we assume that, you know, and I know it, but no, you don't know it because you are listening as a downline, you're listening as someone that I've just invited someone, then I'm waiting after the meeting is done, I'll go and ask the, the, my prospect if they want to join. No, this time join in business presentation, all of them, and then listen to one slide to the next. Listen to one slide to the next, as if you're gonna do that presentation yourself, and as if you're gonna nail that presentation, as if you're gonna do a very powerful presentation, not as a new person, because sometimes you present as if you know, like you know, I'm still new. No, don't remove that thinking that I'm new in the business, guys. No, because the more you keep on thinking like that, the more you will keep on operating at the lowest level of your potential. I need you to start thinking, guys. Am I communicating with you? I remember doing my first presentation as an assistant supervisor. And I remember traveling 
to, you know, over, we were, it was in Moshi. Uh, Moshi from Dar es Salaam, it was, how many kilometers is that? Maybe 900 kilometers. If there is some too much. 650. 650. So 650. And imagine 650 kilometers away. Go and, go and return. That's about 1,300. And I was new. I had a, whole, a room full of people. And because my leader knew that I was ready. So when your leader says you are ready, guys, you are ready. You know? And I remember coming back with six case credits back to Dar es Salaam from one meeting as an assistant supervisor. So don't assume you're new. Guys, the more you assume you are new, the more you're going to stay where you are. You need to start running. Even if you're in the business one month, I see in the panda you're excited. Yes, Selma. Yes, I know you started the business last month or this month. I don't know when you started, but I can see. Yes, mindset is very important. How you think about yourself is very important. You understand? Confidence and consistency. Yes, yes. You know, so as you're learning the business, guys, as you're listening and attending the presentations, learn the stories, get to know what are the stories, get to know Tanki's story, go Lorraine's story, get to know, you know, um, um, you know, the other story from for Susan. She just bought herself a car. Um, get to know Gwen's story, get to know Dama's story, get to know all the people's story that we have, Mariana's story, you know, get to know them because they're not even, you know, like the ones that are in the slides, because the slides are all the same, you know, so all the same. So get to know that and then get your team involved as well, okay? And I also need, that's why it's very important to have the productivity manual. You need to be able to initiate activities every day. For me, I cannot operate without a to-do list. I have like a small notebook here that I write everything that I need to do. And then I keep canceling. So I keep, I keep sorry, I keep, um, I, I keep uh, ticking it down that I've done it. You know, but I've decided before I used to write my to-do list on a piece of paper. And then every time, you know, you have got a different piece of paper, different piece of, piece of paper. And I was like, you know what? Um, sometimes you're not done with the task and then you have lost that paper. So I've decided to buy a notebook. And this is a notebook where I'm writing my to-do list. Also, I'm writing the idea that I'm getting whenever I get the idea. So the idea that I'm writing on my notes on my phone, you know, and then the idea that I'm writing on my notebook where I'm writing my to-do list. That whenever I, because sometimes you're getting an idea and then you forget you know, about them. So whenever I get an idea, I write it right there and then. If I, I don't have my notebook, then I'm writing on my notes in my phone, but I write my ideas, you know, but I can't operate without a to-do list, you know? And so I highly recommend that you start acting as a leader and you do get to know what exactly you need to do every single day and initiate activities with your team, you know? Get to know what is your downline doing that day. Get to say hello in the morning and then tell them like, you know what? Today I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Today I'm, I'll make sure that I'm, I'm filling in my productivity manual. Can you make sure that you're filling in your productivity manual? Even if you can't do 10 people, can you at least do five people? You understand? So get to initiate activities daily. And then I need us to also be closing our month every week, guys. That's what I'm saying. Initiate activities daily. But also weekly, make sure you're closing your month, getting to know I've been doing what I need to do. Okay. And then I need to now, maybe I've been talking to people. Maybe I've been inviting people on Zoom. Now I have to get some time in a week where I am actually doing the follow-ups on that day. You understand? Where I'm saying, you know what? I'm looking at my, my week this week and I've not done any order in my system. You know? I've not retailed. I've not that. You know, like you have to give yourself some time to panic because if you don't panic, guys, things don't just happen. Guys, I just written this today in the morning. I got an I got an, an amazing message from country sales manager from Tan, for Tanzania, Zambia, Rwanda, and Burundi. Um, who happened to be my sponsor actually, which I'm, you know, um, which is your upline. Um, Eno Salema, and um, he was congratulating me um, after getting the video that was sent by Forever Head Office, okay, of my of, of our recognition, me and my husband, um, for Sapphire Manager. I know Sapphire has been, you know, I've been posting about it and wada wada, you know, but of course because things have been coming bit by bit, you know, like now you're getting the the, the recognition because you are, and then we went to to the to the to the success day in 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 Namibia in, in, in Nairobi and then we post about it and then you come back and then you know and we now go to India again you post about it again my like it has been you know long overdue you know but again now there's a message uh, a video that I got which was a very nice the video is like very well put like yo I'm gonna share that video it's beautiful you understand and um guys I wrote today that success is intentional you don't just get to be successful 
You don't just get to level up. You don't just get to become a supervisor. You don't just get to become a manager. Guys, you have to want it. You have to follow up for it. You have to work on it. You have to have a strategy for it. You have to have a burning desire to succeed. It just doesn't happen just like that. It just doesn't happen just like that. Guys, I need you to commit into growing. I mean, if you're in this meeting right now, I assure you, and I I, I mean, I, I pray that you put in the focus that you become a manager by end of the year because you can. Alex, Stima, Karen, Dophilia, Fifi, Happy, Lavinia, Isabel, Joylene, Justina, Lydia, Mahuleli, Marvel, Mona Lisa, Natalia, Natasha, Napanda, um, G, NGWT, SAK002, I don't know who you are. Noxolo, Rosalia, Telencia, Sebetha, Toini, Wakaumbo, Zinanze. Guys, you all can be managers by end of the year. You all can be managers by end of the year. One of my goals is to become a diamond sapphire before I get to, before I go to Paris. Guys, you know what that needs me to be? I need to, I need to create at least a minimum of seven new direct managers, seven new direct managers. And you know what? I'm going to do it with the team that I have and with the people that I'm going to recruit. So guys, that is my goal is one of the big, I've never done that before. No one in East Africa has developed seven new managers within a year, maybe even in Southern Africa. But I say it, I want to challenge myself into doing it. I'm going to do, like this week, I've got so many meetings going on. But guys, it's because it's intentional. You can't go to sleep just like, you know, somebody that doesn't have a goal. You have to have a to-do list. You have to know what you're supposed to do. You have to initiate activity with your team. You have to show up and you have to panic every week. If you don't panic every week, guys, you will find yourself end of the week, end of the month, and you have zero CCs. You find yourself end of the month, you have a team of 10 people and no one has done nothing. Why? Because you have not been following up with them. You have not been initiating activities with them. And also because you have not been leveling up and thinking of yourself as a leader. So guys, people don't just become managers. They start thinking as managers and act as managers and they become managers and they keep on acting as managers. You understand? So you are a leader and you can definitely be able to do what you need to do. Okay. Now, today we're going to have a business. Today we're going to have a team training by our top leader, Eno Salema. And he's going to, he did that presentation in Kiswahili. And then I went to his inbox and I was like, you know what? Can you please do this meeting in English? And then he said, yes. And then we planned the meeting to be today because apparently, again, today, I, I announced it yesterday, but because today was the only evening that he also did not have, did not have anything lined up for himself, you know? I mean, I remember he's a country sales manager and he's also building his own business, number five. In, the, in, in Africa. So guys, he's busy, but he said, you know what, I'm going to do that for your team. And then of course I went on in announcing it to everyone because I want everybody to, to, to benefit because what he's going to share tonight is he's going to share with us what is a pyramid scheme, the types of, you know, the, the and what's the difference between pyramid schemes and network marketing, with the types of network marketing that we have and why forever is the best. Guys, it's going to be a powerful training. Now I said, you don't just attend trainings, you attend and you get your team involved. So get your team involved and make sure your team is attending tonight. Okay, but to uh, on on Friday we're gonna have a business presentation, which I'm gonna do it on on for five forty five minutes in the afternoon. Okay, during lunch hour. So even if your people are actually working, they can still be able to attend that business presentation. And remember, we talked about having people, you know, having the group meetings. So you can even use this Friday meeting where you can cycle your people at your work area and listen with them together. And after that, let's do make sure let's make sure that you are following up following up you understand and then i've created some the post that I've, i have um i've shared with the rest of the team only have my picture but then we can be able to add your picture on that post as well so if you need that come to my inbox and we can do that or go to your upline and you can be able to do that as well and then remember every sunday we have a business presentation at at, at, at 1 p.m uh, sorry at, at 7 p.m in the evening so go and do that now if you're in tanzania we have got a business presentation um for women on friday Okay, on Friday evening, so you can invite your people in Dar es Salaam. And then today in the afternoon, we are having a business presentation in 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 um in um on Zoom, which I'm gonna do it in Kiswahili, which is gonna be um um twelve. It's gonna be twelve, yeah, yeah. And then um also we're gonna have um yeah, so that. And then now I need us to I need to remind you of what we have 
um, as a so Southern Africa, we have got a very big success day in Southern Africa. It's a Southern Africa success day. And this is a success day that is bringing all the countries together, all the countries together. So meaning South Africa, Namibia, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Swaziland, you know, all that, you know, Mozambique and all that. And then we're going to have over 2,000 people, 2,500 people under one roof. And then on top of that, you're going to have the truck country sales manager for, for different countries coming to South Africa for that. They're going to have their own meeting and then they'll attend the success day. And then on top of that, we're going to have the executives from Southern, sorry, executive from the, from the U.S., okay, from the, from the headquarters, guys. We're going to have different vice presidents. Probably the, the president himself is going to be there. Guys, you want to be on stage. You want to be recognized in front of all these people. Your business is going to boom on that, okay? So if you're here in this meeting, you can become a supervisor. What are you gonna? What do you want to be recognized for? You can be recognized for four CC, three months, four CC, um, six months. I think four CC. Actually, I did. I think right now it's five CC, not four CC anymore. So people going on stage is only five CC. So we we need to do five CCs, guys. So four CC is just the minimum. So it's gonna be five CC, and then also leveling up. So you can choose to say, you know what? Between June and July, I want to become a supervisor. You become a supervisor between June and July. You're gonna go on stage. OK, you're going to go on stage in South Africa and maybe with your manager, you can be having well, who is me? I'm your manager. Yeah? Um, We can be able to see how you can be able to get if you're coming from another country, how you can be able to get a free ticket, a air ticket. You know, I'm not promising, but come to my inbox. If you say you're going to become a manager. OK, so you're going to become a supervisor and you're not a supervisor yet between now and July. Come to my inbox and give me that promise. OK, and then let's plan for your business and let me see an incentive that I can give you that is suitable for you. OK, so everybody can do, guys, if you're a supervisor already, you can become an assistant manager between these two months. Look who in your team that are going to become supervisors. You can become a manager between these two months so that you can go on stage in August because the success day is in August. OK, and then we are also thinking of having oh, to travel together and in one plane, especially for people in Namibia. You know, one plane, imagine having 50 people coming from Namibia to South Africa for that success day and traveling in one plane. It's going to be amazing. So um, that's why I'm saying you need to also plan to be in South Africa on the 24th of um, August. But um, I was speaking to um, to my upline, Sapphire, Damon Sapphire Manager Enos, and he is coming to Namibia. Um, for a tour so um also get 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 excited with that the dates are coming so it's going to be amazing now if you're in tanzania we are also going to have a success day in tanzania in september okay so also get ready and go on decide to level up guys these two months is for leveling up these two months is for leveling up so um guys that's what I wanted to share with you but remember the goal is supervisor the goal is manager Okay, that's the goal. If we can't meet at, at at 10 a.m., that means we are all hungry enough. You know, some of you have had to sneak out of your job, you know, to just be here. So the goal is supervisor, the goal is manager, the goal is ego manager. That's the goal. That's what we want. And this is my motto for 2024, guys. My motto is do what you say you're going to do. This is my motto, guys. I mean, we have talked about a lot right now and we can decide. We've talked about, you know, organizing group meetings. We can talked about having meetings that can be able to join or you on Zoom if you're far from me. We have talked about, you know, the leveling up and going on stage on Saturday. We've talked about having a to-do list. We've talked about you acting as a leader and get your team involved, you know, and all that. Guys, we've talked about so much. And so my motto today and as always, is I need you to do what you say you're going to do. I had an opportunity to speak in India in front of, you know, 18,000, according to forever, you know. And um, that is what I told everybody. And that is the motto that I'm telling everybody, every, myself, sorry, I'm telling it myself every single day. I embrace success. I've learned to embrace my own success. But I'm, I've learned to celebrate so many people as well um, on their journey to success. And I will tell you. I just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just ready to work, guys, because I want more. I want more. And I want to make your success a big deal. Your success has to be a big deal. And so let's go and do what we need to do, guys. We can do it. Definitely. We can do it. Definitely. So um, you need to be able to be ready for change. You know, that is what you need to do. So look how you're spending your day every day. You understand? How are you? How are your commitments? What are your what are your what are your mean what are your bare minimums? 
you know what is your bare minimum when it comes to CC, what is your bare minimum when it comes to hours you're putting in your business? What is your bare minimum when it comes to, you know, like doing your business? What is your commitment this month? I mean, 5 CC, 10 CC, 20 CC, 30 CC. You know, what is your bare minimum? When are you becoming who? You know, when are you, when are you leveling up? When is your deadline for becoming a supervisor? These two months for me, I'm saying we have to develop as many supervisors as possible. These two months, we have to develop as many managers as possible. We're going to have Kaplan qualifies within these two months, guys. When you're going on stage on success day, guys, we're going we're gonna to be celebrating so many people. And you can be able to decide to be one of those people. Change your habits. Check how you can be able to spend your time well, okay? So look at your daily and weekly activities, retailing, you know? Most people will wake up in the morning and say, you know, I'm just going to retail. But I think it's very important that you also recruit, like wake up in the morning and say, I'm going to do the retailing, but at the same time, I'm going to talk to people. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to post on social media. I'm going to, you know, check and, and get referrals for people that are enjoying the price already for them to be able to, 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 to get to learn the business. You know, I'm going to check, um, I'm going to organize that group meeting for me to be able to invite them to understand the business as well. Because if you just wake up and just retail, you're going to do your four sisters, you're going to do your five sisters, which is good. You're going to make money here and there, but you're not going to get the sustainable, the sustainable business that you need. You're not going to level up for your business. You understand? Check your team, get to know what they're doing. Person development, guys, that this is key for me, you know? How are you learning your business? Attending the trainings like this, but also communicating with your leader. Guys, no matter what you think of your leader, at the end of the day, your leader has got the best intentions for you. Don't label, label, don't label your leaders. Don't label cross lines. Don't label, don't label, you know, people doing the business. Don't label, don't even, don't even label your customers. Don't label your prospect. Don't assume for them. Just communicate. For me, that has been my key and my motto. Because people go through, remember people go through and they're, they're doing a lot of other things, you know? So when you're sitting there feeling like, oh, my leader is ah, rah, rah, and you are just assuming for them and you have not asked, how will they know? You understand? So personal development, part of it is that. But then, of course, watch the videos. You know, we have got YouTube links, you know, from different people. If you want to learn about forever, you want to learn about network marketing, you want to learn about social media, we have got all that in store for you. Now, if you're a new member in the business, this is what I need you to do. I need you to screenshot this and I need you to do what you need to do. Write a list of names, okay? Write a list of names of people that you know, okay? At least 200, everything is here, okay? So that's why I need you to, to screenshot this, okay? Screenshot this for you to get to have a, you know, like a, like a to-do list as a new person, okay? And then activities are, one is write a name list. And then the second is I need you to, 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 to get to prepare your, your story. I'm not going to go into details about this. I probably need to do another training. We'll probably do the same um, 10 a.m. somewhere, maybe tomorrow or next day, because I need, I, need, I need us to do this story. Do you think you can be able to have time, another time, 10 a.m., so that you can be able to, uh, to unlock this story? Because for me, this is a very powerful tool for you to be able to build your business, you know? Um, you sometimes, oh, not sometimes. I know you can't recruit without having a, story, having a story. Let me see. Do you think you can have another another hour? Another hour during 10 a.m., you know, somewhere? Okay, if you can. But of course, I mean, yes, yes, yes. Good. So we'll do that. I need us to unlock this story part because it's very important. So guys, um, that these are the two things that I need us to do, writing a list of names and make sure that you're unlocking your, um, your, your story. So when I do the story, then I'll come back to these other ones. Okay. And, um, I'll come back to this, the rest of what we need to do. So guys, thank you so much for joining in. And, um, let me just remind you, I always tell people that unstoppable is not just a name, team name. No, unstoppable is actually, um, you know, um, a habit, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a character you know, of choosing to live your best life at your full potential every single day. So every time you're telling and asking yourself as a, you know, telling yourself as an unstoppable, I need you to affirm, affirm that I am unstoppable. Like talk to yourself, you know, because for me, affirmation is something that has really helped me build my business. And I keep doing that. Every, I'm creating it as a habit. Every time you're getting disappointed, you remind yourself I'm unstoppable. Every time you you know, you want to do something and you don't feel like doing it, but you just need to show up, that is discipline. Remind yourself that you're unstoppable. Guys, unstoppable for me is a way of living. And I love this when saying unstoppable. The greatest human quality is that of becoming unstoppable. And you become unstoppable by refusing to quit no matter what happens. Guys, refuse to 
quit on your activities today. Today, you're supposed to do one, two, three, four. Do what you need to do. Remember, remember what I said. My motto is doing what you say you're going to do. That is my motto. And I need you to do that as an unstoppable, the unstoppable that you, you are. Refuse to quit on your month now. Like if your month, this month is saying, I'm going to level up. Guys, we are leveling up. You know, until the last day, last minute, you know, that midnight, we're supposed to send the order. That is when you're saying, okay, I've tried and I've done my best. If it's 5 to see, if it's 10 to see, guys, this is the time. I just want to um give you a shout out to this amazing lady, Telencia. Telencia, um, I I'm happy that you joined. I mean, um. I'm so very happy because um, Telense, you're one of the people that I'm looking at. Every time people are being, you know, are being added in the group, and those are your people you have recruited. You have recruited. I, I I feel very happy. You know, I feel very happy because I know you took a bit of a pause when it comes to your business, or maybe you know, I mean, I mean, you you have been there, and I'm seeing your business now leveling up, guys. And I just want to recognize you and congratulations for that. Now let's do that nonstop, guys. Let's do that nonstop. So if you're here in this meeting, you're unstoppable and let's do what we need to do. Thank you so much, everyone. Remember, volume up. Remember, go back to your team. Remember, um, check your team, get your team to do um, the second orders, especially the new people. The new people, make sure that they have, they have watched the new disorientation and all that, that we have agreed, guys. I need you to go and do what you need to do. Thank you so much, guys. And I wish you all great success. So see you until the next 10 a.m., maybe tomorrow, a day after but you're going to do that. So thank you all very much, guys. Bye-bye.